Thank you for joining this CS board video about ImageBind, a new model by Meta AI, which is the first model that can make sense out of six different types of data. This is exciting because it brings AI a step closer to how humans are observing the environment using multiple senses. In this video we will explain what is this model, why should we care about it by exploring what we can do with such model, and afterwards we'll explain some of the details regarding how they were able to create this model. Let's start with what is ImageBind. In the most simple level, ImageBind is a model that yields vectors of numbers, which are called embeddings. This embedding grabs the meaning of the model inputs. The cool thing about ImageBind is that we can provide it with various input types. So, in addition to this cat image, we can also provide an input of a cat sound, and the model will also yield a vector of embeddings. And similarly, we can also provide a text describing a white cat standing on the grass, and also get an embedding. With ImageBind, the embeddings we get here are not identical, but they share a common embedding space, and each output grasps a similar meaning related to the different cat input. In addition to image, audio and text, the model can also understand video, depth sensor data, IMU, which is a sensor that can tell when we tilt or shake our phone, and thermal data. That's cool, but why is it so interesting? Let's take a look at the power it gives us, starting with cross-model retrieval. By model, the meaning is for a type of data, so image is a modality and text is a modality, for example. Cross-model retrieval is the process of being able to provide a query input from one modality, say the sound of a crackle of a fire, and given a usually large set of data from other modality, for example images, to retrieve an image that is a good fit to the query audio, like the image of fire ear. ImageBind helps with that by first running the model on the input audio, which could be of a different modality as well, which will yield an embedding. The large set of images can actually be stored with their embeddings. So then we can search for the image with the most similar embedding. This is super cool capability already, but what's even crazier is that with ImageBind we can also take an image of a bird and the sound of waves, gather embeddings from ImageBind, then sum these embeddings together and retrieve an image that is similar to the embedding sum and get an image of the same bird in the sea. This shows that embedding space arithmetic naturally composes their semantics, which is simply mind-blowing. Before moving on, if you like this content then please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button as it really drives the creation of more similar content. Another capability that ImageMind enables is audio to image generation. As an example, they show they were able to provide the sound of a dog barks as input and generate this image of a dog and also use the sound of rain to generate this rainy image. The way they did that is by taking a pre-trained version of the image generation model DALI2, actually a private meta AI implementation of DALI2, and usually DALI2 would get a text prompt, create an embedding for the text, and use that to generate an image. With ImageBind, what the researchers did is to run the audio via ImageBind to get an embedding, and use that embedding instead of a text prompt embedding in DALI2. And this way it is capable of generating images using audio, which is very impressive. This opens the door to do similar things with other models that operate on text embeddings, so we may hear on such progress in the future. Let's now talk about how Meta AI were able to create ImageBind. ImageBind model can be thought of as a model with six channels. Each of the channels is an encoder of different type of data. They use the same encoder for image and video, and different encoder for each of the other types of data. The image and text encoders are actually taken as is from Clip, which is a model by OpenAI that connects text and images, and these encoders are kept frozen during training, so they do not change at all. So ImageBind relies heavily on Clip. This decision is likely what enabled to replace the text encoder in DALI2 and generate images from audio. To train the other encoders, they take pairs of naturally matching samples, like audio and video from audio set dataset, and they were also able to extract samples of images with matching thermal, depth and IMU data from existing datasets such as Sun RGBD, LLVIP and Ego 4D. Additionally, they created not matching or negative pairs. Then, they take a batch that include a matching sample and not matching samples, and run the model on them to get encoding for each of the inputs in each of the pairs in the batch. 
Then they use contrastive learning approach, which means that the loss function that the training process minimizes is pushing the embeddings of the positive samples to get closer to each other, and also pushing the embeddings of the negative samples to get farther away from each other. This way the model gradually brings all modalities to the same embedding space. An important note here is that it will not be feasible to find matching pairs from all the different types of modalities, and so they don't do that, but rather only find pairs from each modality with images, and from here the source of the name image bind, since the image modality binds together all other modalities, and from here the paper name of one embedding space to bind them all. Thank you for watching and let me know in the comments below if you have questions about the model that were not covered in the video.